The Republican presidential candidates face off in their next debate tomorrow evening at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. The focus will be on the economy. But another issue has suddenly popped up in the 2012 campaign, the religion of the frontrunner. Political correspondent Jan Crawford has the latest on that. Mitt Romney, campaigning today in New Hampshire, kept his focus on the economy. The Obama economy is a where's Waldo economy. And ignored a growing issue, his Mormon faith. It boiled up at a conference of religious conservatives when a pastor of a Dallas megachurch who supports Texas Governor Rick Perry said Romney was not a real Christian. In my estimation, Mormonism is a cult, and it would give credence to a cult to have a Mormon candidate. The other Republican candidates disavowed the remarks. We're not running for theologian in chief. We run for president of the United States of America. This is so inconsequential as far as this campaign is concerned. But Perry has had relatively little to say about Jeffress. The other Mormon candidate in the race, former Utah Governor John Huntsman, said today on CNN that Perry should be more outspoken. Anyone who is associated with somebody willing to make those comments ought to stand up and distance themselves in very bold language. Uh, and that hasn't been done. And, uh, and Rick ought to stand up and do that. For Perry, who is depending on the religious vote, the issue is complicated. In the 2008 Republican race, evangelical voters were a solid majority in two key early states, Iowa and South Carolina. By contrast, in New Hampshire, where Romney has a commanding lead, evangelicals made up only 21 percent of 2008 Republican primary voters. And many evangelicals want a candidate who shares their religious beliefs. So Perry's got to be careful here, Nora. While he may disagree, he doesn't want to rebuke the same voters he'll be counting on if he's got a shot of winning the nomination. It's a great point. Jan Crawford, thanks so much.